So welcome back to the Impact Arena here in the Thai capital of Bangkok. What a magnificent venue it is, and magnificent complex as well. Conference centres, arenas, hotels, really is a wonderful venue for our three weeks of badminton. This is the Yonex Thailand Open, a Super 1000 event, and then we've got another event next week, which is also a Super 1000 event, and following that we'll have the World Tour Finals, so plenty of badminton to come. Well, that's what's happened already. We've got another five matches for you this afternoon. The first of our uh, matches is men's doubles, and it features the Olympic silver medalist Govi Shem and Tamwi Kiong of Malaysia up against the left and right-handed combination from England, Ben Lane and Sean Vende. Semi-finalists, the English pair at the uh, Denmark Open. After that, we've got men's singles, as you can see, and it's the former world champion and former world number one, reigning All-England champion, though, Victor Axelsen, up against Wang Chalong, the 2019 World Championship bronze medalist. After that, women's singles, and it's a repeat of the 2020 Spain Masters final. The winner in Barcelona, Cho Chu Wong, up against the reigning Olympic champion and three-time former world champion, Carolina Marin. Then we'll have women's doubles, and in fact the champions here at the Thailand Open from five years ago, Super Jirakun and Teyra Tanachai, will take on the two-time former champions, Poli and Rahayu. Then we'll finish with mixed doubles and the winners in Denmark at the 750 event, Lamsfus and Hertrick will take on the two left-handers, Tang Chin Man and Si Ying Suet, who were beaten finalists at the Thailand Open back in 2016. Well, when we look at the men's doubles draw, I can tell you that this is from the top half. That's the top half. No matches played so far in the top half of the draw. Uh, this is the uh, second section of the top half. And I can tell you that as the players make their way onto court, there's the young English pair of Lane and Vendy. I can tell you that in the bottom half of the draw, all men's doubles matches have been On completed. So we know the full Women's lineup doubles. in the men's doubles in the Women bottom Women half. Women of Versus Lee So Hee and Shin Sun Chan from Korea. Ampar Mansure Jarshin from Iran. Service of Thailand. Ramida Asawaposo from Thailand. The toss of the coin, and as you can see, this is the first meeting between these two players. Pairs, I do beg your pardon. So, this is the English combination that had their best result to date, I think, at the Denmark Open. The only BWF, HSBC BWF World Tour event that's taken place since the All England Championships. That was in October. They reached the semi-final, and I'm pretty certain uh, that that's their best result to date. In the semi-final in Denmark, they beat, they lost to Ivanov and Sozanov, and then got revenge for them here in Bangkok. So as far as the Malaysians are concerned, Govi Shem is 31 years of age, born in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. They have been number one in the world, as you can see, and that was for 18 weeks from the 10th of November 2016. Making their second appearance here as a pair, they were quarter-finalists the last time that the Thailand Open was played, which was in 2019. Lost to Li Junhui and Li Yu Chen, who went on to reach the final. Tamwi Kiong, same age as his partner, born in uh, Mua in Johor, moved to Sabah, so on the island of Borneo when he was young. Now, for both the Malaysians, they've uh, become fathers in the last year or so, both of their wives having children. In fact, I think Tamwi Kiong's got two children now. In the first round, they disposed of the number eight seeds and world ranking number nine pair, Aaron Chia and Soe Yik, who were 
beaten finalists at the All England Championships of 2019. As you briefly saw, 21-7, 21-19, and I'm going to talk to Steen a little later about that. As we look at the left-handed Ben Lane, 23 years of age, born in Kingston in Surrey, and he and his partner Sean Vendy are making their first appearance here. As you can see, they're just down from their highest ever ranking, uh, three places down from their highest ranking of 29. But they are number nine on the race to the World Tour Finals. So if they were to have a good result here, uh, they have a chance of qualifying for the third week here in Bangkok. Well, they certainly played well in their first round match when they disposed of the 2013 beaten finalists Ivanov and Sozanov in three games, an hour and two minutes, as you can see. And I caught glimpses of that and I thought they were playing exceptionally well. And I think perhaps the semi-final in Denmark has given them an awful lot of confidence. So the court officials I was telling you about and it gives me a quick Ladies chance to right, welcome John Wendy and Berlin, England. And on my left, Go with him and Dan Vikian, Malaysia. Dan Vikian to serve to John Wendy level play. Yes, sorry, Steen, to interrupt there. I just wanted to listen to the umpire announce the two pairs. Welcome, Steen. One, I don't know whether you got a, a chance to see any of the Malaysians' first round match against the number eight seeds, Aaron Chia and So Wee Yik. 21-7 opening game. It was dramatically one-sided. It was, and, and um, uh, uh, Chia and, um, and So they came back um, in the second game, but, but they were not really uh, uh, going for the win, uh, it wasn't like you thought, hey, they're, they're actually about to come no. back. Yeah, I was impressed by that result uh, by um, Govishem and, and Tan Bi Kyung. Um, it was a little bit surprising to me. Um, they are playing as independent players, whilst Aaron Cha and Su Wu Yik, they are they're the uh, top guns for um, the Badminton Association of Malaysia. But we know they can play fantastically uh, Three, well. Love. As demonstrated by that last shot, that was yeah. a wonderful defensive shot by Govi Shem. They were one rally from becoming Olympic champions. Yeah. Four, love. 23 21, they lost the deciding game in Rio to Fu Haifeng and Zhang Nan. In fact, had two match points, didn't they? Yeah, they, I don't think they got the serve into play. No. On any of the occasions, that was a thrilling match. But um, also shows that there's a lot of nerves in, in badminton. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good smash from Ben Lane. So it's over. One, four. So just talk us through what we should look out for as far as the English pair are concerned. Where do you see their strengths? Yeah, <coughs> I think uh, it's in the offense with um, with Sean Bendy um, at the back, as we can see here. And then um, using their left hand, right hand combination, um, I think Ben lane has got a really, really good eye for the game. Uh, he's not a hard hitter. Um, played mixed doubles earlier with, uh, with Jesse Pugh, but now focusing solely on the men's doubles and that seems to have benefited um, this combination. Um, I think it's it's a little bit of a moment of truth for the English because um, uh, the ninth spot on the uh, race to World Tour Finals list uh, is in to a certain extent due to the semi-final in Denmark where there were very little um, Asian uh, competition. I don't think actually there was any in the men's doubles at all. No, I don't think there was. And they played um, Ivanov and Susanov in the first round match where uh, I think it was either Ben or Sean who said that um, they felt the shuttles were a little bit slow, so um, Ivanov's big smash was neutralized a little bit. A little bit. And 
There's some Three, things that are pointing six. towards that playing conditions have gotten a little bit uh, faster here. So, so this is going to be a really good um, match to measure where they stand in terms of um, international level. Oh. Yes, I think that's a very good point because Seven, actually, when you, apart from that Denmark Open last October, if you look before that to 2019, four finals, but all four finals that they reached, they won two of them, they were international challenger events, so not even a Super and 100 three. event. Uh, so it's, it's the European circuit, but, but that's understandable because they had to sort of like make their way forward um, since there's um, entry restrictions on, um, on the Super uh, Tour and the, and the uh, BWF World Tour. So you have to have a certain um, placement on the world rankings. And, uh, you need to play a certain number of tournaments. Good so, point. So they, uh, they need to work their way up. And um, that's one of the other benefits from playing Denmark Open. That, and this one, these two tournaments here, that they're probably uh, into the World Tour level as of now. And I also think that they've shown that they have the level to play there. Uh, in all honesty, uh, they played some really good matches in Denmark. They played a very good match. I agree with you on um, on Tuesday here in uh, in Bangkok. Sorry, Solar. Nine, four. Excellent. So, four. Oh. Well, a look from Sean Vendy to the service judge, as if to say, was that below the 1.15 meter me mark? Well, it wasn't cool, so it must have been. Yeah. There Ten. from Ben Lane. That one. Yeah. He's, in my opinion, the more creative of the two players in the defense and and uh, the flat Whoa. game. Also, uh, due to his uh, experience as uh, a mixed doubles player. Ben. My goodness, yeah, that's well so played. Eleven, six, Got the English six, pair four. completely out of position, did the Malaysians. With that one. Yeah, in fact, Tan Wee Kiong uh, a little bit surprised that one of those came back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's really difficult to uh, to recognize the players. Yeah. Was Muskimke, he was warming up before today's match, and I had to look twice to see who who is it actually. <laughs> He's through his match, just to report. I was saying that the bottom half of the draw has been concluded. The four Play. matches played in the bottom half of the draw. All four matches won in two straight games. And the average time for those four matches, 29 minutes and 15 seconds. That's extraordinary. Isn't it? I'll count that as my fun fact of the day. Yeah. I would also say that apart from the match between uh, Ranky Reddy and Shetty against um, uh, Asan and Setiawan, the, the matchups were uh, quite
qualifiers or lower rank pairs against um, top opposition, so um, oh. it should be quick matches, but but still 29 minutes, well, that's six. that's nothing. Exactly. Well, that was a shame. He just wasn't quite tall enough there. Vindy. And one of the things that they're facing now here in this match that uh, is different from facing European players, I would generally rate Asians to have a stronger defense than um, than Europeans. So going to have to be a little bit more patient and work harder. Good serve. Oh. Drive Twelve. serve from the left hander. Uh, one sort of felt there was an inevitability no, about that. Thirteen, eight. Majority of the attacking play from the Malaysians. And they do work the rally well, especially when Govi Shem is at the back of the court and Tanwi Kiong at the front. Yeah, clearly the uh, preferred combination or the preferred oh. position for <coughs> the Malaysian pair. 14, eight. Well, there's another look from Vendi there towards the service judge. I remember when this service rule was first implemented go Shem. he was complaining a lot about uh, getting faulted for his serve but um, it seems he's adapted i like that defense you talked about the stronger defense of the malaysians steen but i do like the way that go uh, that tamwi kiong played that drive and immediately moved forward yeah oh so it's over nine so I was there from uh, go the, this time. Oh. Well, there's a challenge here from out. the English pair. I suppose they might as well because this opening game is slipping away from them. Yeah, if, if they're not correct, then at least they get a little bit of break. Here we go. Yeah, clearly out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. 16 9. Play. Oh, both hesitating. Yeah, you can't afford that at this level. 
That was a clever drop Nine. shot from Govi Shem. Yeah, really well placed in the middle between the two Englishmen. Oh, drop shot again. Good shot. Giving so himself forward. his own medicine. Ten, yeah. 18. Got to mix it up a bit from the uh, backcourt. Ben Lane, he's he's not the hardest of hitters, in my opinion. Eleven, eighteen. On court three. Or maybe that's a, a, that's a bit unfair, but, but he doesn't hit with a lot of angle when when the smash is aimed straight. Uh, so. Um, a lot of steepness, so angles could Russia. cross smashes could be um, the solution Sorry, mixed up with um, disguised drop shots that would open up so the defense of um, the opponents. Well, with the Malaysians only two points away from this opening game, my overall feeling so far, Steen, is that uh, quite simply, the Malaysians have had far too much of the attack and somehow the English pair have got to get themselves on the attack and, and then they can bring in this variation yeah. from the back, the angles we've been talking about. So game point opportunities for 11. the Olympic silver medalists. Game. Opening game. First game won by Scott Very efficiently and done. In just 15 11. minutes for Govi Shem and Tamwe Kyong. 21-11. Final rally on the attack as they've done throughout most of this opening game. Space. What we're, we're see is putting these shuttles into space. We're bashing at almost everything as well. Yeah, we're, it's just that flat. Yeah, so, so, we'll so, just take so, the so get some take the pace up. Get them back, see what see what net players do. Net players are just push some fade down the lines. They're not, yeah. move, they're not moving far yeah. out, but it's like when we're working. Yeah, it's like exactly. Just them put, some, yeah. put some blocks in, just turn the shuttle, get them That's moving a little bit. Yeah. We saw that then when you've got a length. They're not happy to attack all the time, they start clipping. Yeah. If we're sitting back, yeah, we end up we end up gonna be lifting for too long. We don't need to be lifting too long. Yeah, the work rate and attack's got to be better. And the angles have got to be better. Plus three is too short. Yeah. Well. Alright, okay. I'll get on it. Alright, but that's gone now. This is this is a different ball game now. This is two sets of badminton. This is what we want. Yeah. And this is about discipline now, about what we're gonna do and playing for each other. Okay, it's really important. Yeah? Okay? Right. Yeah, let's go. Julian Robertson, the English coach, telling them they've got to be ready for these pushes that are going past the net player. Second also telling down. them they've got to be more patient. Well, was it both in the defence and the attack that they were going to be more patient? I didn't really get it. No. You were talking about there were some gaps in the defence. I don't know. I didn't get whether it was their defence or... 
whether it was the defense of Go and uh, Tan or when it was Lane and Wendy playing their defense that they should look for blocks in their own defense to turn things around. And we're going to have um, referee uncorked, I think. Do you know what's what? happened? Is it a blood yeah. injury? What's what's going on? Is the scoreboard or? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah, Second so game. Not sure, Stein. No. Love or play. Anyway, here we go. Second game. Ah, oh, now there we go. Finding a gap. Over. Yeah, and One I think there might be no. a good chance here in the beginning of the second game to get back into the match for Lane and Wendy as I think uh, Tan and uh, Go, they won the first game quite easily so I think they could perhaps be a little bit um, uh, complacent. Let's see. Good work by uh, Sean Wendy there, Two. setting it up for no. his left-handed partner. Lovely, wasn't Three, it? Nice one. change of pace. Yeah. On the rotational play. And he got it um, cross in front of uh, Gobi Shem, which is, in my opinion, good because he's looking mostly to get to the back court. He's not the preferred front court player for the Malaysians. Steen, there's only ever been one pair from Malaysia that's won the men's doubles at the Thailand Open. It was 11 years ago. Ooh. Back in 10. Uh, this, they've had a lot of good men's doubles pair still. That's an unfair question, in my opinion. I've, I've just given you duff, <laughs> duff information. It was 12 years ago. Ah, okay. <laughs> Rally, isn't it? Oh! Yeah, lost his patience in the end. Yeah, but if you if you got who that Malaysian pair was to win, then I'm buying you supper and having it sent to your room tonight. Okay. Yeah. Anything you want from the menu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that's I don't even have a... Um, I didn't even know they'd play together. So it's over. Three, five... Well, I did know they'd play together, but they weren't... It was only occasionally. Yeah. Is it... Um, is one of them... Um, oh. Tampo and Chong? No. Oh. I'll put you out of your misery. Yeah. Chan Peng Soon, known for mixed doubles yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And Lim Kim Hua, who used to play so with Go Vi Shen. Yes, I, I was thinking Six, about Lim Kim Hua and I was about to um, give that in as a, as a bit. Lim and uh, Tan. No, he also played with Tammy Kyung, didn't he? Lim Kim Hua. Yeah. 
No, I don't remember that. No, maybe not. Seven, but that was three. the one I was thinking about, and mm. I thought, okay, it's, then it would have been one of these two that's probably not possible. But, but the last Malaysian pair in a final, you're right about Tan Boon Hyong with Ku Kian Kiat. They were the last Malaysians, but they lost in the final. That was six years ago. I think Ku had some... Uh, Stints with Four, Thailand partners seven. as well when he was playing for a club here in, um, mm. in Thailand in the later stages of his career. That's well played. Uh, that's a pity for. Wendy and Lane, Five, he was seven. really quick on that uh, fourth shot, Sean Wendy, in, um, in the service situation. And they, I guess they've gotten the start to the second game they wanted here, a couple of points ahead. That's a nice interception. there I like that clear from um, Six, seven. yeah because it seems like it's very difficult to um, to score in the outright attack versus defense um, mostly I think for Lane and Wendy but it's not we, we saw them keep go uh, on the back court um, a couple of rallies ago and that means that they'll have to go for the transition phase where defense is turned to attack or Eight. the opposite way around. Look for the uh, chances there. Oh. 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 Both the Malaysians Eight. have made a service Six. error now. Don't shout at your opponent, I'm far saying. I wonder if she's the one covering the uh, Marin Chuchuang match Four. later on in this court as well, because then she'll um, Nine. <laughs> she'll be tested. No, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nice play from Vendy. He often likes to go one, two backhand defenses, go Shem, and then turn around and uh, look for the forehand possibilities. That was really well hit on uh, that left hip there. So it's over. Seven, nine. Oh, that's a terrific angle. My goodness. Eight, nine. Bendy didn't even move for that. In fact, it landed way in front of him, in front of his defensive stance. Nine, oh. 
And I think he's questioning that one that he took, whether he should have done. In his coach, that uh, final drive yeah. shot from the Malaysians was well inside that back line. Oh, good flick. Ten, nine. I'd like to see that in the uh, replay if there was a double movement from uh, Go. If you take the pace off the racket just before you hit the shuttle, then it's very, very uh, difficult for so the opponents. Uh, and Lane is um, advocating that there's something wrong with the service. So it is the English combination of Ben Lane and Sean Vendy who have the advantage, but it's only a one-point advantage here at the mid-game interval of the second game. Sometimes I think he wants to get really casual in defence because you've, so you've got to look for what Tan's there. Tan's looking to intercept, so then we just push it. We just turn it. We go, we go block again, but we just go lines. Yeah, let them put let them put one, their work on. Okay. We go a hard in attack. It's coming hard back. Well, I heard Julian Robertson saying if you go hard in attack, he'll come back hard. Keep going for the angles. You've got to lay off the shuttle. In other words, block it and turn it. Use the angles. 11, yeah, 10. and also um, do the same thing in, in the defense. Um, Play. You know, that Tan is trying to intercept on the front court, so they were going to look for the gaps there and, and sort of... Um, be ready to play, play both from a defensive perspective, but also uh, when they got the attack, um, use variation. Ah, that's well played. 12, 11. Last three shots from the relations, they were really crisp. It's too short the lift. I talked um, to Kim Astrup yesterday after the, the Danes had lost to Lee and uh, Wang. And he uh, told me that the Danes experience the drift was um, alongside the court, but that it was, 13, as we see it now, Go and Tan who was playing with the drift and Lane and uh, Bendy who was playing up against the drift and it was, he told me also that it was, they felt it was quite severe, which is, I think it's, it's difficult to see from up here. Yeah. Um, but I can see that Bendy and Lane, they've had some short lifts when uh, out of position making the lift and um, that supports 14, 11. that theory. It's a little bit concerning, Steen, that since the mid-game interval, from an English perspective, they haven't won a point. Yeah, it's 8-2 since uh, they were up 9-6, Lane and Wendy, and I think it's, it's um, pretty much expected this um, uh, sequence of events that um, Go and Tan got a little bit relaxed in the beginning of um, this second game here, and now they're sort of like reminded each other that hey yeah. we should play to a certain percentage i think they feel that they can win this match and they are the better pair in their own uh, mind and i suspect that uh, chan chong ming has just reminded them that hey you need to put in the uh, proper work to do it Oh, 
dollar, fifteen, twelve. And let's say that it goes as I sort of predict that um, the Malaysians are going to win by by three, four points. Then I think it's important that the English in an eventual evaluation sort of see, yeah, we played well there in the second game and uh, in the beginning of the second game, yeah, you did. But the others, they were also a little bit down. So you have to look at the uh, yeah. patches where, where you weren't playing that well. That That's the real opposition you're going to face. Mm. But now let's see if they can come back and make it all all my predictions wrong here. There's some exchanges of flat serves. Oh, that's well played. Isn't it? He does no, read the game so well at the front of the court, Tam Wee Kyung. And just directing it into the middle in between the two players there, so yeah. both are going for it. Lovely shot. Instead of just blocking it straight, just guides it a little bit in towards the middle of the court. So fast on that one. Go, Vishen. 17, 14. Oh, yeah, that's a bad service return we can see from that angle. Goes upward just where he wants it. Second service error from Tam Wee Kiong. Wendy coming forward with his racket up there. Oh, that's good game forward from Ben Lane. And the bank level. Yes, that's quick forward. important in the service situation which pair can get to play can get the other pair to play a shot a little bit out of position a little bit out of balance it's very difficult to maintain the required shot quality yeah. the angled attack that uh, Julian Robertson was calling for Weighted, uh, committed to the backhand defence, I think. Yeah. Yep, aiming towards the right hip, cross court. Very oh. clever. Oh, my goodness. There he is in the right place so at the right time. Yet 19, again. 18. It seems like he's not showing his correct arm length. <laughs> in normal play, Tan Wee Kyung. It seems like it just gets <laughs> <laughs> 10 centimetres longer there when he uh, intercepts. Flexible arm length. Oh. Missed it. That oh. is important. So it's over. 19 or. Try a flat serve again if I were Ben Lane. Play three, oh. that's a pity. Yeah. He did everything to turn it around. Ben Lane. Nineteen. 
And they have played a good second game, in my opinion. Yes, they have. So um, I wouldn't mind seeing a decider. But it's match points for the Malaysians. Tamwi Kiong once again in the right place at the right time to make the decisive interception at the net and finish off this match in style. Yeah, great anticipation. Final rally. for the English pair well as Steve was saying they did play well in the second game as the scoreline reflects but the win to go for Shem and Tamwi Kiong 21-11 21-19 It really is a magnificent venue. There's the Impact Arena, the whole complex here. Absolutely fabulous conference centre, the hotels, and of course the arena. The arena was actually used for boxing.